Welcome back to the Metronome Madness League, everyone. It is the last game of the semifinals between the Gengars and the Cyndaquils. Is game number three. Whoever wins this match gets to move to the championship. Everything is on the line here tonight. Cyndaquils, of course, starting things off with their Intimidate tactic. See if it helps them out against the Score Bunny as their attack is lowered twice by their two lit. And uh, the Cyndaquils, I believe, has already fought against the Charmanders in the championship before. So if they get a win, there will be a rematch. It'll be interesting to see. Gengar is, of course, a tough team to beat. They were the best team throughout the regular season. We'll see if it works out for them. Here comes Shiny Litten now. Going with the Fiery Dance. That's a stab move. Resisted by the Score Bunny, though. Still does a decent amount of damage and of course will raise that special attack stat on the shiny Litten. There goes a charge beam, another move that can raise special attack stat coming from regular score bunny, not doing a lot of damage and no special attack boost. That's not what they wanted to see. And there we go, focus energy coming from shiny score bunny, a lot of setup coming from both sides of the field here. We're in for a good match tonight. Here we go. It's gonna start off with Shiny Litten here. It's gonna go for a Glaciate. Glaciate hits both sides of the field. It is resisted, but does put the Shiny Score Bunny below half its health, plus lowering the speed of both of those score bunny, ensuring that they get to go first. Of course, they were already faster. Here comes the regular Litten with a burn up. That's gonna be a strong move. Resisted, of course, again. And then, oh, that's against Shiny. It knocks it out. Shiny score bunny gets knocked out by the burn up. And then Litten will turn into a normal type Pokemon as it lost its fire there. We have to remember that. Now it's only weak against fighting. Here comes the grassy terrain from regular score bunny. Grassy Terrain gonna heal everyone out on the field now. Gengar's first to lose a Pokemon. They're gonna have to move to their Marsh Top. All right, and there we go. Marsh Top out on the field. Excellent start by the Cyndaquils. They did force this game three. See if they can come away with a win here. There goes Litten starting to round off with a soft boil. His HP is full, so that is going to fail. Bad move there, but Shiny Litten gets to go. It goes for a slam. Low accuracy move, but it does land. Slam lands it. Marsh Top takes a bit of damage. Marsh Top now. Gonna go for a horns reel. One hit KO move, it actually lands. That's a one hit KO against regular Litten. How many times do we see those land? Excellent job. That evens the playing field. Knocking out one of the Litten, my goodness. Gengars are not playing around. They want that championship. They want to be there. And they believe they can beat this uh, Charm Millions. Here comes the Vanillish now for the Cyndaquils out onto the field. And there we go, Litten starting things off here. Litten gonna go for Curse, gonna lower its speed, raising its uh, attack and defense, I believe. It raises with, with that, um, which is not a bad move. Another setup for it, raising, yeah, that attack and defense. So it can keep up and do some more damage to that Marsh Top. There we go, Marsh Top loses some defense with that move. Now he gets to retaliate. Here comes Marsh Top. Poltergeist, that's gonna fail. Does not have any items on it. Of course, next season, the teams will be carrying items. That's gonna put an interesting twist on it. There goes the Electro Ball against the Litten. Doesn't do a lot of damage at all, actually. Barely does any to the Litten. And 
Here we go. Everyone heals up from the grassy terrain. And we're gonna see Vanillish start things off for us. Here comes the Vanillish with a fissure. Oh, the Cyndaquils return the favor with their own hit. The one hit KO moving and lands. Marsh Chomp knocked out by a fissure. That's two one hit KO moves that we've seen tonight. Oh my gosh. What are the chances? The Lava Plume coming from the Litten. That hits everyone on the field though. Bad move, a massive amount of damage done to the Vanillish. Oh my goodness, after the fissure, they kind of shoot themselves in the foot with that move. Here comes the infestation. That not very effective, but will do some damage at the end of every turn. I'm still flabbergasted by the two one hit KO moves that land. We usually don't see one land in a metronome battle, but here we got two. My gosh. Here we go. Cinderace, last Pokemon out for the Gengars. And they have their Cinderace and their Score Bunny, a fitting duo to take on the Cyndaquils. Cinderace gonna start things off. Fastest on the field. Goes for a Moon Blast. Not very effective against against the Litten, and that's who he's going to hit. It does a lot of damage, though, even though it's not very effective. Litten now below half health. I believe first time this match that it's gotten that much damage. Here comes the Vanillish. False swipe. That doesn't really do much. Litten now. With the Tar Shot. Tar Shot against the Cinderace. So that actually adds a fire weakness to it. I wonder how that works with Libero. Will it, that continue to go forward as it changes its typing? Because right now it has a single weakness against fire. We'll see uh, if that comes into play in the future. Vanillish just outside the danger zone after healing up from the grassy terrain. After the dual chop from the score button. There we go. The last bit of the grassy terrain now has disappeared. The match is heating up. Cinderace. Cinderace goes with the pollen puff. Changing yourself into a bug type. Pollen puff going against the Vanillish, and that's enough to take it out. Vanillish will be knocked out. Cyndaquils will have to move on to their Incineroar. And here comes the Litten with the Sand Attack. Interesting. Not a bad idea. That's going to lower the accuracy on the Cinderace. It might miss some moves in the future. Maybe a critical move could be missed. That Sand Attack can win the Cyndaquils the battle. There goes an Earthquake, though. Earthquake is super effective against Litten, not very effective against the Cinderace now that's a bug type. And that was an excellent move by the Gengars, knocking out that Litten, leaving the Cyndaquils with just one Pokemon. And two versus one is not a situation you want to be in, especially in a match that's this important. There goes that Intimidate from the Incineroar, giving them a bit of an advantage by lowering the attack of its opponents. Crowd getting excited right now. Here we go, Cinderace gets to start things off. Cinderace goes for the Draco Meteor. It's a dragon type now, and it's missed. There goes, the sand attack did work for the Cyndaquils. Here comes the Incineroar now with the lash out. That's a stab move for the Incineroar. Last shout. Oh, a massive amount of damage against Score Bunny as it's knocked out. And it's 1v1 right now. Down to the wire between these two teams, Gengars and Cyndaquils. The last bit of HP, which will determine who moves on to the championship. There goes the strength from the Cinderace. Strength doing a bit of damage. And Cinderor now looking to return the favor. There goes the Poison Sting. Good Poison. Not going to do a lot of damage, but could come away with the Poison. No Poison on it. Not with the Cyndaquils. Wanted to see. Cinderace now. Cinderace going for that Shadow Sneak. It will disappear 
for one turn, avoiding any moves. Oh, wait, that didn't work out. Oh, it's your coat. Oh, it's avoided by the Cinderace. I was going to say, will we see a third one hit KO move? My goodness, they're coming out of the woodworks with those moves here tonight. Here goes the Shadow Force. Cinderace is going to try to disappear again. And there we go. It disappears. And Incineroar will miss his next attack. Oh, but it uses a Doom Desire. Actually, one of the best things it could have done. As that hit move will hit in the future. And it doesn't matter that Cinderace is not on the field right now. There goes that Shadow Force. Against the Incineroar doing a little bit of damage, but not very effective. Here we go. Disarming voice coming from the Incineroar. Disarming voice was a critical hit, but not a lot of damage. All right, Cinderace. Cinderace with a psychic terrain. Changing up the battlefield. See if that works in their favor. All right. Here comes the Incineroar now. Incineroar with a double edge. Gonna damage both of them. Double edge doing a lot of damage. Incineroar below half health. Cinderace approaching the danger zone. But there goes the Doom Desire. It lands and knocks out the Cinderace. Doom Desire was the move to use. And the Cyndaquils come away with the win. The Cyndaquils, excellent match. That match came all the way down to the wire between these two teams. Unfortunately for the Gengars, they will be knocked out and you will see the Cyndaquils face off against the Charming Charmillions in the championship match of Metro Madness season number seven. Make sure you guys are ready for the Metro Bowl. Metro Bowl number seven coming to you soon on the channel. And we'll see between these two teams who can win the best of three. The Metro Bowl will be a 6v6 double battle between these two teams. And that is set to be very exciting. Special thanks for the patrons for supporting the channel. Thank you very much. If you want to become a patron, there is a link in the description below, as well as a link to our Discord, because we would love to have you become a part of our community where you can post memes, talk about Metronome Madness, or anything else that you would like to talk about. We will greatly appreciate it. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.